What is up, everybody on YouTube? It's your boy, the Memphis XLRA, coming at you with 100 Days of Yu-Gi-Oh! Where every day, for 100 days, we look at a different deck every single day. Today, looking at some Morg, the Lord of Birds, the King of Tweety Birds. And we're having ourselves a good old time, summoning out a bunch of birds, summoning out our king, locking out our opponent's stuff. All, but, all in all, it's just a really fun deck that I enjoy playing very much. And so, of course, today I'm giving shoutouts. I'm giving shoutouts to some of the newer subscribers because we're getting to the end of this 100 Days thing. So, let's give today's shout-out to two people, Mr. Gary Daly and Jurian Zwart. Hope I'm pronouncing both your names properly and all that good stuff. So, let's go ahead and get ourselves started with this deck. Have ourselves a good old time. I'm going to show off some combos, and we'll have ourselves a good day. Alrighty, our first opponent. Want to go first with this deck as often as humanly possible, because Samorg loves going first. Unfortunately, not going first, which is not good, because we have the perfect going first hand. It's really sad, indeed. Because if I had gone first, uh, then, you know, everything would have been good. Because I have my anti-spell fragrance. Got my bird of beginnings. Oh, it really hurts. That's the thing about some more. What is this? Oh, the snow flowers. Take a snow flower, add to hand or send to grave. Can't special summon except for plants. Opponent's end phase if you have... Let's see, if you control no monsters or all monsters are plants... You driven a plant, summon this card, and a plant from your hand. You can't special. Okay, so this is snow flowers. I better pay attention because somebody asked me to do snow flowers, so this ought to be interesting. I'm seeing generators, which is not something I necessarily enjoy. Generators can just get get out of here. Generators. I mean, you're you're an all right deck, but you focus too much on the negates and stuff. All right, what are you getting here? Okay, so he's just using it as a Attack did to get another monster, I see. Uh, see, and now he's going to be able to make them both level 8, so he can make himself a good old rank 8 exceed. We'll see. Uh, detach material, target a monster on the field. Well, that's targets. So if I can get my king, I should be okay, in theory. Alright. Let's go ahead and say, Bird of Beginnings. This gives me an additional normal summon. We'll see if it all works out. The thing is, he can tribute me at any point. If he knows how some more... See, like I said, if I'd gone first, completely different story. Because then I would have been totally fine and dandy. Regardless, I'm going to go ahead and bird a beginning. Or bringing. I always get these two mixed up because they're so important together. Now, this lets me add a some more card. No, not yet. And uh, what do I want? That's a good question, actually. I don't know. I'm going to get some more arrival. I can ditch a winged beast to search out some more winged beasts. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Let's go for Happiest Conductor. You might wonder why that's in here. It's for the link climbing. That's mostly what it's in here for. And my opponent, I don't think he knows what I'm up to just yet. We'll see. We'll see indeed. Because if I can get out my king, I should in theory be okay. Because then my king here can't be targeted, so he can't use his effects on it. Or my other birds. That's the nice bit. Alright. Uh, target a monster? Yeah, you can't target my monsters. Sorry, my friend. You have fucked yourself up. Right up the bum. Alright, so my opponent's pretty much screwed. I'm gonna go ahead and play set rotation. I get this, and he gets the seal of Oricalcos. You might be wondering why I give my opponent this. And you'll never find out, because he rage quit on me. Well, that's unfortunate, but I was about to destroy him. This is poison to his deck. If I'd gone first, he would have surrendered too. So, I'll call that a win. But let's go into duel 2 real quick, because I want to show off more of what I was trying to do. The whole locking out of spells, traps, and set monsters. Alright, he's second opponent. Trying to go first yet again. It's where we like to go. I'd like to show off that combo a little bit better. Just need to get the right hand. Opening hand. Oh, pardon me. Got a weird itch in my throat, but uh, opening hand's all right. It's not great, but I've got my one card into everything I like. That's a something. So I'll go ahead and summon the Calamitous Bird. <coughs> Don't worry, I ain't sick. I just got a cough. I just got a, a quick cough there. 
So yeah, Calamitous Bird just dumps a monster. It's our one card into the Bird of Kings, basically. Just go ahead. Go over the Harpy Conductor. Uh, almost, I clicked the wrong card. I gotta remember to bring back the Calamitous Bird. Gotta remember that one. That's important. Go ahead and make our Tweety Bird of Kings. Uh, I really wish I had more. Th I mean, I've got this Twin Twisters. Maybe we can spook him. I mean, a little bit of mind games never hurt anybody. Be like, Doximog. Then we'll be like, wait for two seconds. No. We'll make him think it might be that card. He's probably not going to fall for that. That would be very foolish if he actually fell for that. But, uh, yeah, I've got some more the Birdie King of Sovereignty. I call him the King of Tweety Birds. He's going to protect us from any targeted effects. My opponent cannot set anything. So that's nice. If we're up against, like, Paleo Frogs, he can't do much. Other than, obviously, summoning the frog. But, you know, without the Paleo Traps, what's the frog going to do to me? Not much. Doc Ruler no more, you rat. That's a rat sort of move, my dude. Um, eh. Get out of here. None of that field spell nonsense. I'm the only one allowed to play a field spell, so thank you very much. So yes, yeah, so we're up against dinosaurs. Interesting enough, Argosaurus. Okay, you can pop a dino to add dino. Okay. So, do you have a target for that? I presume you do. Otherwise, why would you summon this? Uh, young man. You want something for me? He's probably just thinking. Probably just thinking. He's probably got a lot of nothing. Okay. Interesting indeed. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and summon a bird of endings. Just to, you know, deck thin a little bit more. You know, that good old chestnut. Dump a beginning bird. I don't need it right now. Uh, interesting. The dino player didn't do anything. Why is Argosaurus out here then? I'm very confundled. Very confundled and not appreciating it. I like the duels to have some nice back and forth. I know you guys do. I check my analytics every once in every ten years. Even though I've only been on YouTube for about three years. Don't judge me. Basically, yeah. I know you guys like it when there's a lot of back and forth, and that's what I like to see. Uh, as it stands, I'm just going to go for the darkness some more. Negate some spell traps if my opponent attempts any spell traps. Other than, of course, if he plays another Dark Ruler no more. But, you know, it's something. A little bit of something. I'm curious, why is... What's wrong with the dinosaur? Is he having dinosaur troubles? It's a dick move, but I might give him an extra turn, just in case. If he doesn't surrender off of me negating that, I will give him another turn. Even though usually giving your opponent extra turns is considering a dick move. Ah, soul eating over raptor. Not good. Not good indeed. <clears throat> okay, never mind. No mercy for you anymore. I was going to, but now, no. Not at all. Never. Okay. So now he's got over after. He's going to add himself his uh, miscellaneous Taurus. That way he can discard said miscellaneous Taurus. Okay. Oh, do you have Lithosagium? Or either a true... He might have a true king. I'm going to go off on a limb and say maybe he has a true king. I don't know. I'm starting to have this feeling this guy doesn't know what he's doing. Or maybe he's just now learning this deck. I don't know. Fuck Lamau. Oof. Well, that sucks. I'm sorry that your deck didn't work. A fat oof. Oh, that's the worst kind of oof. Um. Yeah, unfortunately, my dude. Uh. Send me to the Shadow Realm. Okay. To the Shadow Realm. You know what? I was going to give him another turn. But he, he politely asked me to send him to the Shadow Realm. So I don't have another option. So. We'll say we beat dinosaurs, kinda, even though he, you know, messed himself up. Let's see what he was doing. I, I, I really want to check. Alrighty, so now we see what happened. You can't par up Argosaur with another Argosaur is basically what happened. He just, he didn't understand that. Did you not have Link Karibo at the very least? No, he has double Trishula. You're gonna have to stop that, my friend. But, yeah, I mean, 
I, I've played, you know, true king dinosaurs. They can do some nasty things when everything works out for him, but unfortunately it seems he just didn't have things go out right for him. Don't know what to tell you. I mean, he's got that miscellaneous saurus. I did stop his field spell. That's a big one. That's a big one indeed. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's, yeah, he should have gotten miscellaneous because then he could have at least summoned Agnamazood. That's what he did wrong. Okay. Yeah, that's an unfortunate thing. You know, he was so preoccupied with, you know, plussing off of a card, he forgot the summon requirements of his monster. That's unfortunate. Honestly, what he probably should have done is like, you know, I'm trying to think what else he could have done. You know, get Miscellaneous Saurus, pop it, and Argosaurus to summon this thing out. And, yeah, and then he could have banished Miscellaneous Saurus and a couple monsters to get another monster, etc., etc. It would have been better than what he got, so... Yeah, good, good effort, Dino Man, but uh, keep practicing. All righty, our third opponent. Let's go ahead and go first again. That's where we like to go. Very nice, very nice. Oh, baby, this is much better hand. This is exactly what I want. This is exactly what I want. Very nice, very nice indeed. Anti-spell fragrance. Very nice indeed. Plus, I got win the medium and a monster to do everything with. So, very nice. Very nice. My opponent, okay, he's agreed. It doesn't matter to me, really. It's just practice and all that good stuff. So, let's go ahead and start out with our bird of bringing. See if we can get ourselves a nice little field spell. You know, my opponent's thinking, he's thinking, what does this do? He's probably just reading the card, honestly. Could be either or, although it looks like maybe his internet might be a little slower. Don't know. Regardless, I've got this bird of the bringing. He's going to bring me my field spell. I'm going to ditch these two to get another monster. And the most important thing is just getting this guy in the graveyard so I can do my Lincoln plays. Just want my Lincoln plays. I want my Dark Samorg. I want everything to go right for me. That would be nice. I like it when the things go right. That's for sure. So, I mean, I'm hoping this guy is going to make his move soon because, you know, the last duel... Last duel was all right, but I needed more back and forth. What can I say? Okay, there we go. Animals. That ain't nice. So let's go ahead. He's thinking really hard. That implies he's got something, but I don't know what that something could, like, be. You know what I mean? It's like, what are you doing? All right. Let's go for the bird of endings, actually. The calamitous bird. He's my one card into the link, so I figure he's good for a comeback if I actually need one. We'll see. We'll see indeed. Just gonna bring back my bird of protecting, man. And even if by some means, like, yeah, DD Crow, I can use my field spell to get an extra normal summon, so I can just bring back my curb, my, my bird right here. You know, it's a thing I can do, and it's a thing I am more than willing to do. I think he's just, I, I think he's just got, like, slow internet, honestly. It's one of them slow internet folks. Just gonna give him a little bit of patience. Little bit of patience, you know. So I've got myself a Harpy's Conductor. Very nice. And then I'm going to go ahead into my bird of the brigands. He's bringing the bird, some might say. So, yeah, he doesn't have any, he doesn't have the ability to Nibiru. Now, that's the one thing I fear is Nibiru. Nibiru is a nasty guy. I don't want to see Nibiru. Because I don't have any sort of out for Nibiru. And if I get nibiru all my fun times go away. All of the fun times, they go away. So, okay, you still got something in your hand. Uh, I've only summoned four times, though, so you can't Nibiru me, so I'm still good in that regard. I don't know what he's got. All right, good, good, good. Bird of Kings. Boom, Wakachu. Behold, the Sovereign of Tweety Birds. What say ye to that? Got something? What is it? Because you can't impermanence me or anything. You can't target this. That's how that works. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Should be all good in the hood, provided that he does it in Nibiru, like I said. I just really don't want to get nibiru What can I say? I better say it as many times as I can. I do not want to be nibiru All right, end phase. 
Yes, all right. Everything working out. So now, drop the king. The original king, the Dark Samorg. So now we've got Dark Samorg out on the board. Very, very nice. And it's too late to do Nibiru's because it has to be during the main phase. So immediately on his draw phase, be like anti spell for Grons. No spells, no traps, no set monsters. I mean, if he's playing like Junk, for example, probably going to be in for a bad time because they have, they have very little need for their spells. So, we'll see. Against, you know, most standard decks, you know, this will do fairly well, you know. Being unable to play spells or traps is just pretty nasty. So, let's see. Super Quantum Red Lair. Um, okay. What does this do? Uh, well, this card is no more special, so I'm going to target a Super Quantum in the graveyard at your hand. Okay. So, he's just summoning it out as material for something. Whether it be Tribute, or Link, or what have you, I don't know yet. I just don't know. It's it's just right there. It's just red layer. Should I play Super Quantums for the end of the 100 day? I don't know. I feel like that's a deck I should tackle once Master Rule, you know, Master Rule 5 becomes like the norm. Not right yet. Alright, what does this do? During the end phase, this is in the graveyard because it was destroyed, but my opponent surrendered. Alright, uh, I have no idea what he was up to, but honestly, I don't think it would have worked anyway. He's probably going to go for like, I, I don't know exactly what, but we'll call that a win. I I got to show off the combo. Let's go for duel number four, and uh, see if we can do it one more time. Alrighty, our fourth duel of the day. It's been an interesting day for some more. You know, I'm doing the combos fairly well. I'm just not running into, like, really powerful opponents, which is not necessarily good. I like it when my opponents have, you know, some, you know, some strength and stuff to them. It's kind of a thing. Alright, let's go ahead for our Bird of Bringings. Go ahead and dump us a monster. I probably should have... I think I made, I made a slight mistake there. A slight mistake indeed. Uh, send this guy to the grave. Yeah, I should have searched out the bird of bringing and stuff, but it's fine. It's fine and it's dandy, okay? I know what I'm doing. I made a slight mistake. It's, it's fine. You can come back from a slight mistake, so long as you can keep doing stuff. You know? I'm just gonna go ahead and make my kingly bird. He's just so easy to make. It's crazy how easy this guy is to make. He just makes some morgue so much more playable. So now I'm going to go ahead, Samorg's Arrival. I'm going to ditch the Protecting Bird. I'm going to add the Bird of Bringing and the Bird of um, Darkness. Yep. Get those two out here. Um, oh, I don't, do I? Okay. One for one. Going to ditch this Darkness, Samorg. Get another Bird of Beginnings. Because I'm probably going to go for Darkness some more, just so I have something to negate stuff with. Going to go ahead for Darkness some more. There he is. All right. Bit of spell trap negation. Never hurt anybody. I wish I had my field spell, but what can you do? Made the slightest... If I had done the things in the different order, you know, I would have had that. But I did not. If you're to be up against the Valkyries... He can summon a Valkyrie from this deck, except himself. He's gonna get... What does this one do? Add a Valkyrie card. Okay. Gotta get Sigrun. Target a face-up spell trap. Send to Grave. Summon this card. If you do, summon a different Valkyrie. Okay. Valkyries are an interesting thing on YGO Pro. Because of how Mischief of the Time Goddess works, they can't implement it in this system. Uh, so, even though... Uh, freaking what you call it. Um, what's his face? Oh, yeah, Arcana Force 21 The World. That works, but you can't use, you know, Mission of the Time God, which is rather odd, actually, now that I think about it. Like, you can skip your opponent's whole turn, but you can't skip into the next battle phase, which I think is just kind of weird. It's just kind of a weird thing. Uh, unfortunately, he had Diviner of the Herald. Ouch. I mean, granted, Samorga Darkness is 
bigger than his herald? You know, I can just beat over this. That's the thing. Granted, he's just gonna get that dang diviner back. Uh, and he can summon out another fairy. Um... Cyber Egg. Add a Machine Angel Ritual, okay? Uh, still haven't figured out exactly what he's trying to do. I mean, he might be trying to make, like, a big link after all, with all these little things. Or a Union Carrier. Union Carrier is a thing. He's gonna make... Ebb, I see. And then this is sent to the graveyard. He gets that out, I see. Well, shoot, man, this is not necessarily good. This is actually bad. I was thinking I was going to beat over this thing, but now he's going to bring out Erd. Which, oh, no, no, he made... No, he made Saged. Oh, but Saged can just summon out an Erd, too, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing about Saged. No, no, he can only use it once per turn. Okay, that's not a problem. I was thinking I was in trouble, but I think I'm alright, in theory. I mean, I can, like I said, I can just beat over the fair, this, uh, this Herald and then do my plays again. So, it's, it's a thing. It's a thing. He can't link with this thing because it can't be linked to the turn it's summoned. So, yeah, I think he might have made a slight mistake. Slightest of mistakes. Just a little one. Just a wee little one. That's all. Um... All right, the Ritual Sanctuary. He gets to discard a spell to add a Ritual, or just get that thing back. Um, let's see, Special Summon it. He's already used its effect as well, but he can make, like, Boral Load or something, which should not be good. Oh, no, he made Boral Sword, which is even worse. Uh, but he can't target me still, so that's a thing. That's a thing indeed. All right. Well, um, eh? yeah, I've stopped you from attacking twice. Deal with it. Deal with it, mister. You and your freaking Valkyries. I know, Union Carrier, you, I don't like you. You got a lot of things hit on the ban list. It's all your fault, my lad. It's all your fault. All right. Can I come back from this? We will find out. I mean, I got two birds in the graveyard. We'll find out indeed. I'm going to go ahead and get my field spell. He didn't negate it, implying he may not have a negation left. We'll find out. We'll find out indeed. Let's go for the bird of beginnings. Go ahead and use his effect. Try to summon out the bird of bringing. I just want my dang old bird of bringing, but no, he'll negate that one as well. But this is fine. He has no spell traps, so I can just bring out things out the wild zoo. We have been over this. I can keep bringing things out. You know, he can't stop everything. What? You got something? You got a little something for the birdie man? That's what I thought. Alright, so now... Uh... Oh yeah. Almost forgot. This time I remembered. Okay. I got my elbows. Ah, but he's stopping my air boys. Stop it. Stop negating everything. What? What are you, some sort of negatey person? You negating everything? Unreal, my dude. Unreal. Alright. Ah, uh, but I can't use another bird of beginning. Shoot. Oh well. Looks like I might lose this one, folks. It was a good day of Samorg, but then this guy went crazy with Valkyries. I did not expect that. Well, it's mostly. Harold's fault, honestly. I probably could have dealt with Boral Sword, but obviously I did not have the ability to make my things. If it was just Boral Sword, I could have dealt with it, but unfortunately, not this time around, lads and lasses. Not this time around. Alright, T right. So yeah, he's gonna another Sig run. But I'm pretty sure I'm dead, so I'm gonna skip ahead until. You know, if something weird happens, I'll be back. If not, I'll see you guys in the end screen. Alrighty, some more. We did alright today. I mean, we didn't go up against anything, like, super crazy, except for that Valkyrie player, and unfortunately, they got around everything we did. So, you know, it's a thing. You know, you set yourself some more upright. Some more will do you good. You know, he'll lock your opponent out of stuff. 
I, I didn't get to show off the tribute thing where you summon this guy and you can summon this from your hand, but, you know, that's something you don't always do, but, you know, regardless, I enjoyed today's deck. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Smash like if you enjoyed. Uh, tomorrow we're playing us some Atlantean Mermails, which ought to be good, and I hope you guys will stop by for that as well. So, until next time, your boy Memphis is signing out. I'll see y'all next time with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! action. See you next time.